Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to look at screen tearing, more specifically on the Acer Nitro 5, because that's what I use. But um, especially when you use a monitor, there's a couple of things that you should really check first that you might not know about or might be causing the screen tearing. So I'm just going to go through a couple of things with you guys that I know about that have helped me. And yeah, I'll bring you over and we'll just start cracking on. Also, nearly a thousand subscribers. I think I need like three more people to hit a thousand. So if you like these videos, subscribe to the channel because I've got plenty more coming. Right, let's carry on. Alright guys, so first thing you want to check is make sure your laptop or your PC is running the Hertz that your monitor or your laptop screen is actually uh, running. So if you go into display settings, okay, once you're in here, scroll down to the bottom and click on advanced display settings. Okay, here at the top, especially if you've got a laptop and you're running a monitor, you obviously want the correct display selected. Um, other than that, if you come down here to refresh rate, this is the important one. You want to make sure this is exactly what your monitor or your laptop screen is running. Now, I've seen a few people that have overclocked it. So let's say it was a 60 hertz and they've overclocked it to 120. And um, that can cause issues because your screen is trying to perform better than it really can and that can cause screen tearing and sort of vice versa if it's running a lot lower than it can then it can cause issues again so just a basic one there to really check that and make sure you're running exactly what you have um, after that you just want to go into your nvidia control panel so if you just right click and go onto here And it loads, here we go. So you wanna go on to manage 3D settings. So we'll click on that. And you come over here to this box and you scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can see here, vertical sync. And as it says here in the description, vertical sync is a collection of settings that control how the GPU render rate interferes with the refresh rate of the monitor. So this is how they're basically working together. Now, you can change this. So you can have it on, off, adaptive, half refresh rate or fast. So it's worth trying it on a different setting, on, off or one of these other ones. But if you do change these, you then need to restart your PC or laptop and um, just to get it to refresh and work as that. So it's definitely worth trying those to see if um, that helps you. Um, other thing you can try is if you go into game mode, settings here we go and if you go into your game bar and you can maybe try having this off the xbox game bar is for like recording clips stuff like that and um, it does cause a little bit more stress on your gpu and um, recording these clips while you're playing as well so you can try having that turned off and um, the only other thing i would suggest doing is if you go into your sort of geforce experience bar make sure your drivers are up to date and again you can go into the settings here and do a couple of things that maybe make things a little bit easier for your gpu and um, like if you've got it on whisper mode for example example that's basically sucking out performance to keep your laptop quiet so you're going to want that turned off and um, this battery boost you want that turned off that again is basically taking power out of the machine to give you longer battery life but most of the time when we're playing we're plugged in anyway so you want that turned off and you can have this the same thing again as the game bar this has got the in-game overlay so you can have that turned off as well and that does help your gpu a little bit but other than that guys that's about it you can look on here as well it does tell you what uh, screen you've got there see it says 165 hertz so that's the main one checking your hertz is right and then uh, playing with that v-sync that can really make a difference so yep yeah. That's about it. Um, I've played with those and they have helped me, so I hope it helps you guys. But for now, that's gonna be it for the laptop video and I'll probably see you next week with another one. I'll catch you guys later.